we're all being trumped. There's very little gray area in feelings about Donald Trump. He has an army of folks who think he's the best candidate they've seen in their entire lifetime. And there's a wave of folks who think he's a disaster waiting to happen. And there are some gray area voters as well. Those that haven't yet been snagged either way, perhaps they're choosing to ignore him. But how did this polarization occur? Well, he's totally orchestrated it. Remember I've coached that addressing someone from my knower-judger has a very likely probability of, of hooking the other person's knower-judger. Well, this is what Trump has done. If you think he's the second coming of Christ, he's attached to your knower-judger in a positive way. He's speaking your language. You feel good about him. And if you think he's patently evil, he's attached to your knower-judger in a negative way. He appalls you and you feel bad about him. Either way, he's elicited an emotional reaction. That's what happens when knower-judgers hook up. There's very little, if anything, rational about it. Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz, along with most of the media, have also hooked up in this same manner. And they're being devastated and taken advantage of by their emotional need to react to Trump's rants. Kasich, for the most part, has remained more or less aloof and avoided that Trump steamroller. Should he rise in the polls, which isn't very likely at this point, I'm certain Trump's knower judger guns will be aimed squarely at him, too. Whether Kasich bites or not will have to be seen. Now, in previous elections, primary candidates have routinely catered to the extreme positions of their parties. Democrats want to produce a knower-judger message that's in tune with their most liberal base. And Republicans can't be seen anywhere without their Bible spouting righteous indignation at the liberal world. And the, once the nomination has been secured, their message moves quickly to the center, trying to hook up with their ideology with a broader constituency, sometimes to the dismay of the folks who garnered him or her the nomination in the first place. Well, I have a prediction about Donald Trump. I think the minute the Donald is convinced the nomination is his, if that occurs, his rhetoric will change from rant to logic. This won't be philosophical ship we're used to seeing. It'll simply be a behavioral change. From egotistic ranter to rational student of politics. And it will be very seductive. He'll want to connect with that gray zone voters learner researcher, that area where egos are not engaged and we're open to new data. He no longer has a need to watch his competition self-destruct. They'll all be gone. And that point he would need to act presidential and not be seen as Gordon Gecko on steroids. Remember Greed is Good from the movie Wall Street? We'll see a different Donald. Can he do this? If he wants to beat either Hillary or Bernie, he'll need to convert some of those gray area voters, who up to now have not been snagged by his knower Judge Iran, either positively or negatively. And this Donald version 2.0 will suddenly seem less unattractive to these voters. Okay, there. I put my theory out there. What do you think? Let's see what happens. It's Kim, and this is, hopefully, another moment of clarity.